69-year-old Bill Simons was comfortable playing golf a week after having cryoablation for prostate cancer. It's a non-invasive procedure that involves controlled freezing of the prostate gland in order to destroy cancerous cells. It went amazingly well. Um, I was surprised that, uh, one, it was an outpatient, and by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, after having it first thing in the morning, I was on my way back to my son's house and, and feeling relatively good. Seven years ago, Bill was treated for prostate cancer with several weeks of radiation therapy. Then recently, Bill's blood tests showed his PSA rising again. It jumped up to 2.7. Why is that? And then it went to 5. Whoa. So we go to the urologist again. The cancer had returned, and Bill met with Dr. Michael Chair, professor and chairman of urology at the Wayne State University School of Medicine, who recommended prostate cryoablation. With this procedure, the doctor uses ultrasound guidance to place small probes into the prostate gland. I want to sort of protect the wall of the rectum, so I need to measure the temperature right there. Liquid gas is then injected into the needles to freeze the tissue. The prostate tissue is destroyed along with the cancer, but the surrounding tissues are protected. The whole procedure usually takes about two hours. During the course of the two-hour procedure, we actually do a double freeze-thaw cycle. So within that two-hour period, the prostate is frozen and thawed out, and then frozen one more time, and then thawed out then the needles are removed and the patient is awakened from anesthesia. There's no stitches, there's no dressing because all the patient has are some needle holes in the skin and it's a very quick recovery and the patient goes home from the hospital in most cases on the same day. Dr. Chair says new technology has greatly improved the technique. We can really precisely control the ice ball, really get it to conform to the shape of the prostate and in that respect avoid injury to adjacent structures like the rectum or like the urinary control muscle. So surgical complications are much reduced based on better control of the ice ball. Because of some post-surgical swelling, the patient leaves with a urinary catheter that is removed in about a week. Prostate cryoablation is an alternative to open prostate removal surgery and radiation. There is a reduction in sexual function or the ability to get an erection, so it's not for everyone. Cryotherapy is a good procedure for men who tend to be older, say men in their 70s often, men who don't have a very active sex life, men who are already having problems with erectile dysfunction. Those would be the groups of men that would seek cryotherapy because it's really an easy treatment to go through. And if they're already having problems with, with uh, erectile function, the cryotherapy wouldn't really make that much difference. Patients like Bill are followed up regularly. They get PSA blood tests to monitor progress and are seen at one of the DMC's facilities by a member of the urology team. It's such a class operation. I didn't realize all the Detroit Medical Center, you know, Harper, uh, Grace, Carmano was uh, teaming together to make, a, I think, a world-class facility. Prostate cryoablation at the Detroit Medical Center, one of nine hospitals of the Detroit Medical Center, where many of our doctors are ranked among America's very best physicians. The DMC, we just think it's a better way to get better. I'm Emory King.